Yeah man, welcome back people, no don't know you know. And a drifter. So what I'm going to vlog number no nine is we're going to delete all of this plastic manifold. All of this that Toyota claim that is necessary for the NZ. That drifter saying no, it's not necessary. So I'm going to delete all of this and put on some other things and turn the um my intake manifold into a front facing intake manifold. How am I going to do that you ask? Let me tell you. I'm going to use a 4E FE manifold and I'm going to convert it. When I'm done with it, I watch my video for a long time, I love conversion and engineering things. And anything me touch, we can change it into something me want if you change it though. So I'm going to use a 4E manifold. Why use something when you have one in your backyard? Please bear in mind that I was using the 4E engine before and I changed to a 1NZ. So I still have spare parts in which can interchange to the 1NZ. So I'm going to use my 4E manifold. I'm going to modify it into a front facing manifold. As I've said before, if you were watching the video, you got the Recario seat, I don't know if I can see it in the video, but that there it is, a Recario seat from the last video. I'm sitting in it right now, feel nice, can feel well sturdy and thing, can change gear, sink clutch, handbrake, everything ready, can ready for drive, can just as a drift, but the car cannot drift or drive until it's sturdy and performing good, so we have to ensure that that is sorted out and please bear in mind in things like this, number one the number one thing should be safety and i believe in safety so i'm ensuring that the car is sound before i drive it i do anything extra with it so that's the plan for now as i've said intake manifold for vlog number nine yeah man so let's say come out i can now you can see see it see it look good in there look pretty and nice lovely seat still want to wrap but i don't know look very beautiful man but i married it how them man same thing uh. So alright, this now get rid of. Problem this. That is restriction. Toyota put it on it for restrict engine. Right, so I'm going to have to delete it. Get rid of all of these extra plastic and so turn it into a front facing manifold. But one of the problems that I'm having right now is that I don't have a cutting torch. So what I will have to do is go to the machine shop and I have a friend down there. I'm going to let him burn through it. I'm going to cut the diameters at home using a template and bring the template to the machine shop. And he will continue from there to burn it out. So, as I say, machine shop, I say, when I don't know anything set. Like, share, and subscribe to the thing. Machine shop, we say. All right, so back from the machine shop, you know. Bridging when start out this summer. Making cutty coming if I have no um, acetylene gas, no tartary cutty. So making cut out the port wall them and line them up and all that something. So right now I'm going to reach back home and I'm going to try and see what I can do to get this and to this. This is the, um, the intake flange. So I'm going to weld them together. So that's the plan. So as I've said before, the videos will be short. So I'll try to um, fast forward as much as I can. Just keep them short. So that's what's going on for now. So intake manifold for the one in CFE engine. Yeah man, that's how things set. I don't know that drifter in a man. So anything I'm saying to people, give the video one like man. Subscribe to your thing if you never subscribe it. Touch your bell and show us a black one so you know so you get the notification. You see me? Yeah man, so we're going back to regular programming. Big up on yourself. So no don't know another you know, drifter again, you know, so as I say brother do some body work on the car. So while he's doing that, I'm trying to um shut off the back here. I remember I did cut it so the engine could fit in there for the first time. I got it cut in, I got the firewall cut when I bought the car. But I widen it a bit right here especially to let the, the bigger manifold, the original one in Z manifold to fit in there until I sort out. So Right now I'm building a front mounted intake for the car from my original 4 year. Please bear in mind if you are watching the videos from the first time um, I was planning to put a 4 e in the car. 
So what I did was, since the displacement of both cars are similar, the four is 1.3, so there's only 200 cc difference. I planned that I would just use the um, the 4E manifold um, to build the front mounted manifold for the 1NZ to completely turn it into a rear wheel drive setup. Please bear in mind that I've built the exhaust already to front mounted, which comes out here. So I'm just building a front mounted intake from the 4E original manifold. So I've built um, an adapter plate, I just put it on. So just to check to show you, goes right through, no, no, no stopping, nothing, everything is in line. So ears go, ear go right through, go straight into the intake port. Um, this is the original 1NZ throttle body, so everything is lined up at the moment. So I built a adapter, I cut it out of a hard plastic with all the bolt holes and everything. So what I will do is cut it out of a, an aluminum plate, so that will be the adapter. So all the bolts will go through that, then through the throttle body, which will attach the throttle body, 1NZ throttle body, to the 4E manifold. So I've done some fabrication to bolt it up on the arm. Um, the flange, the 4E, um, not the 4E, the 1NZ flange because I made that out of metal. Let me show you. Alright, so this is what I did. I burned out the 1NZ flange from metal. This is a 3 8 I think, metal slab. So I used paint, coat the entire um, surface of the 1NZ manifold. I'm just put it on it it leaves um, a mark you take it off then I one of my friends at the machine shop um, they burn it out for me and then I just use my grinder and so to shape it up and nice it up so I have the one in the flange I have the one in the flange so I top welded the, um, the intake manifold onto it I tack with the intake manifold onto it so it's just to do a little fab work to close it up so we don't have any vacuum leak or anything so at the moment as i've said i'm building the adapter to get it all set together and everything because when the body man start to work on the car i want him to close off here entirely to stop the heat from coming inside of the cabin and to heat up inside of the cabin so i'm trying to start out that part now get rid of all of the open space close it off and make a front mounted in um front mounted manifold so with the one in z you know this was a problem the last time and the first time um i started the engine i was having a bit of trouble because of this the muff sensor right i was trying to run a cold intake setup because this is what comes with the original one in z fe engine this has to run on the engine right or else the engine will not breathe good this right here mass airflow sensor or muff sensor who in the mechanic world know the things that muff sensor so this measures how much air comes into the engine so this car can run out, run without an air to sen uh, auto sensor and everything because this measures the amount of air um, going inside the engine and then the computer will calculate that and add enough fuel so the car can pretty much just run with this alone so when you remove this you have a lag and the car goes into link mode so the first time i started the car I, even though i did have this one i tried to put it let me see if i can go and find it Let's see if we can go and find it yeah this is what i did first so i just cut out a hole here put my muff sensor in it and use some ultra gray to um, seal it but unfortunately this didn't fit properly on the intake here so you were having air leaks here vacuum leaks here and here so the car wasn't reading properly so the car wouldn't rev up and a, a, what, a lot of things happen so what I did now was I'm going I have two muff sensors because I thought the original one was damaged so I bought another one so I have two now so what I'm going to do is put the MAF sensor here on it and attach this here so the car will be able to read how much air is going into the engine just as the same and I can run an intake here to get fresh air from outside through the 
um, through the headlight here if I want. If not, I can just leave it there and put a filter there. But if I want, I can run and cold intake in which the car breathes from outside and cool air goes into the car from the headlight space here. So, a lot of work is going on. As I've said before, I try to keep the videos less than 10 minutes because there isn't much going on on the car right now at the moment. I'm just trying to set it up for body work. As I've said, someone else will be doing that. I'm not specialized in body work. So someone else will be doing that. So that's what's going on. But as I've said and I've kept my promise, I will keep you guys updated as the bill goes on. Yeah, man. So I saw the thing set. The drifter.